Join us as we explore Hong Kong's best food spots, from mouth-watering dim sum to sweet street eats. And as we roam around this vibrant city, we'll uncover the Michelin star delights that won't break the bank. First things first, breakfast. So we are here at the Australian Dairy Company, which is a very popular spot. There is huge lines, and apparently it's quite fast paced, and you have to be quite quick here uh, when you're eating. Apparently some people say that the service can be quite cold, so I'm excited to see what our experience is gonna be like. So let's head in. All right guys, so the Australian Dairy Company has been open since 1970. Their speciality is the milk pudding, the scrambled egg, and their toast. So I can't wait, let's give it a go. The queue is massive, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be worth it. So the first thing that has come, and it came literally within seconds, is the steam milk pudding with egg whites. Oh wow, thank you. Mm. It's so sweet. I wasn't expecting it. It's super silky, super soft. Mm, I love it. This is actually quite sweet. It reminds me of sort of like a rice pudding back in the UK, but obviously without the rice, and it's super smooth and silky. But you have got that slight hint of like egginess to it, but it's nice. It's really, really good. It reminds me of the hot because it's got the same consistency of the tofu in the hot, but this is just pure milk pudding. It's nice though. Mm. Right, so I've got the scrambled egg with buttered toast here. I heard the scrambled egg here is the creamiest scrambled egg. And then let's give it a go. Mm. Mm -hmm. The toast is just so soft and the egg the scrambled egg is so creamy and the seasoning is just perfect. Wow. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to try the French toast now. Oh, just look at that. Wow, the butter just melts. Mm. Oh, it's so nice. Normally French toast is quite sweet and then like drizzle it with syrup. But this one, not at all. Mmm, again the seasoning. It's not too salty. And the butter's just perfect. Mmm. Mm. It's got a good chew to it as well. This is probably the strangest thing I've ever had for breakfast. And it's basically macaroni pasta in a chicken soup with ham. Wow! No, that's super good. It's amazing, like almost like the broth you get from noodles. Um, and then you've obviously got this really nice warm, it's like a really hearty breakfast. It really warms you up. Mm. Really nice, so good. I think this is like the perfect way if the weather's like rainy. Perfect breakfast. Ooh, oh I'm my full. god. I am full. That was so good though. Definitely worth it. It is very busy and very cramped. And when we literally came out the cafe, the queue is it's literally longer. longer. And as we were getting, to, I don't know if you saw, but one of the guys was almost going like, go on, quick, quick, yeah. out. But I've got to say, when we were actually in there, when we were eating, I didn't feel rushed. They were actually very mm. nice. When we took our order, so I was asking a few questions and he was happy to answer them and things like that. So I think it's not too bad at all. But I think the environment is what makes you feel rushed because there's just people rushing around everywhere. There's so many servers, there's like 20 of them, mm. right? And they're all rushing around. And I mean, they do kind of sort of like throw the menus and stuff. But I don't think that it's that they're trying to be rude. I think it's that like, they can't actually get to you. Yeah. So and they're the almost like... <laughs> And they're trying to work fast pace as well guys with a lot of people and there's yeah. and all of them are literally queuing up outside so imagine all the pressure you kind of eat and you go there's like no messing around but it was so good the people were actually really nice there uh, but yeah you will have to eat fast highly recommend by the yeah. way guys so if you are ever here in Jordan and you're looking for a good breakfast spot 
check out the dairy company it opens at half seven and there is a breakfast set that runs until noon which is a pretty good deal mm. you kind of get quite a few things to try uh, but if you miss the breakfast set there is then a lunch set or you can just order everything individually if you want to and it's pretty affordable prices as well the breakfast set is 43 hong kong mm. dollars plus an extra two dollars for a hot or cold drink with it so i think that's pretty affordable actually for hong kong So the next spot we're going to be trying is Mac Man Key Noodle Shop, which is right next to the Australia Dairy Company that we had breakfast earlier. So make sure you give yourself a little bit of time because you'll definitely be full after breakfast and then come back here later. It's literally next door. Um, it doesn't have a sign above it actually saying Mac Man Key Noodle. So it's this yellow with red Chinese writing on it. So this is actually a Michelin star rated place for its wonton dumplings. So we're super excited to go in and try them. I heard it's pretty good prices and yeah, it's Michelin star. So I'm expecting big things. So we are trying the most popular and I think this is the Michelin rated dish called wonton dumpling soup. So I'm really excited to try it, it smells great. I'm going to try the, the soup first. Oh, that is good. You can really taste that like spring onion. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad that went in. Mmm. <laughs> That is amazing. That has been cooked to perfection. So, so good. Super crunchy, super flavorful. You've got that juice from the soup that's kind of oozed inside. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Mm. All right, let's try this Michelin star one ton. Oh, that is so refreshing. It's very soft, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like it's not very overpowering. Amazing guys. Oh the juice just like the soup that goes inside the dumplings. It just oozes out when you take a bite. Mmm. Mm. Alright guys, that was amazing. We only paid 50 Hong Kong dollars for the wonton and it's a very generous size actually me and Zoe just shared mm, like not just in terms of the amount of dumplings you get but also how much is inside mm. like there was a lot inside the middle of each dumpling so it was actually quite filling whereas a lot of the other dumpling places we've tried throughout our stay in Hong Kong they haven't been there's quite it's minimal inside it is, right yes so that one is I think it's like it's worth, perfect, the, it's yeah. worth the money actually really really good I think that would fill you up for dinner so if you are here in Jordan, give Macman Key Noodle Shop a go. But let's move on to our next food spot. I wonder what we're gonna have next. So we've come to one of the most popular bakeries here in Hong Kong. It's located at Causeway Bay and it is called Bake House. So they make everything fresh. You can actually watch them cooking it. And we've decided to get their famous egg tarts. The saying goes, you haven't been to Hong Kong if you haven't been to Bake House. So here we go. It does look really, really good. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, good. The pastry is so flaky, so crunchy and crispy. It's not too sweet. It's actually got quite like a savory flavor, but then like a really nice sweet aftertaste. Oh, it's perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, good. I want to buy more. You can get a variety of different pastries, croissants, donuts here as well. So there's lots of treats for you to enjoy. So we have now come to Yat Lok to try the famous roast goose and I think we're going to try some pork as well um, and this is a one star Michelin restaurant so I'm super excited to try it. It's located here in Central so let's go. Mm, cool. 
So good that it's on hell. Oh my god guys, that was the so best good. food I've ever had here in Hong Kong. That was so good. We've been here for a few days now and by far that was the best meal. The duck was super crispy, super juicy and tender and it had almost like a sweetness to it. Like I really, mm. really enjoyed that. Way better than the goose we had the other day. Yes. Um, that was really, really good. And then the pork was amazing as well. It had this like really crispy out of it and then it was almost salty but like mm. not too salty at all. It was really, really nice and with the sauce as well, incredible. We couldn't really vlog inside because it's very busy. And the room is very tiny as well guys, like everyone's squished in, you have to sit with other people. Yeah and guys you may need to stand up whilst eating your meal to let other people out of your table. But yeah it was a really good experience, I really liked it. And then for the price it's very cheap, for Michelin style food we only paid 67 Hong Kong dollars for the pork and for the goose. Yeah so good, so nice. such a good price. Uh, and we were literally, I think we were in there for like seven minutes. Mm. Like it's so quick. I wouldn't even say, it, di it didn't feel rushed, but it just feels like very efficient. Like, and they were so nice in there too. Yes, they were really so lovely. Nice. So good. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend. some incense or a candle you can pay to do that in the donation box so if you're craving something sweet then head to mammy pancake and try their famous egg puffs they're located all around the city so you won't have a hard time finding it we have got the original and we've got a banana and chocolate chip so let's dig in and try these it would only be right to try the original first so oh Whoa. Really I had crunchy. That crunch. Oh, tasty though. Simple but good. Sometimes less is more, you know. Wow. It's not too dry. Like I thought it would make me thirsty, but it's not. Even though it's crunchy. Mm. Really good. It's not too sweet. And it's not too dry. It's just very perfect. Wow, I don't know how they do it. Mm. Now for the banana chocolate chip, which has come in its special bag. If this cool bag doesn't want make you want one of these, then I don't know what will. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mm. So good. 10 out of 10. Mm. Look at that. It's the perfect amount of soft banana with just the odd chocolate chip. Like it's not overpowering at all. Really good. It's like little parcels of joy. yummy budget friendly dim sum then definitely head to this very popular food chain all around Hong Kong called Dim Dim Sum. Here you'll find things for around two to three dollars for about four to three pieces which is really really good and a load of us have arrived now. So we've got a variety of different dim sum. I'm gonna have to read the receipt to remember. We've got some shrimp and pork dumplings. We've got some quail egg and chicken dumplings. We've got some Shaolong bao. And we've also got this glutinous rice one as well. So we're really excited to dig in and try. Our first one that has arrived is shrimp and pork dumplings with flying fish roe. So, oh, it's full, Zah. At. Oh no, it burst. Oh no. So my dim sum completely fell apart, so I don't get the soup. I have to try another one, but meat is good. Mm. Mm, super tasty. 
Alright, so I'm going to try the clay leg dumplings now. Look at that. Steaming hot. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. Incredible. Wow. That is really yummy guys. It's really warm. It's just all the juices just ooze out when you bite in. Oh, incredible. So you got? Sausage. I'm gonna try the glutinous rice. I think it's just glutinous rice to be honest. Is this glutinous rice with like some type of meat as well? Mm. It's not sweet. It really is glutinous rice with some sort of meat. I thought it was just glutinous rice because it's on the menu. It says glutinous rice with some meat. <laughs> Alright, so that came in a total of 160 Hong Kong dollars, which is around 16 pounds with four different types of dim sums and two drinks, which is very good actually. So this place is actually located here at Kowloon, so come and check it out.